sure has been a wild year. Even though it was crazy and kind of felt like I was going to lose my shit a couple of times. There's a lot of gems in this year. Lessons and meetings and teachings and all sorts of things. I haven't got my teeth yet. I got my, all of my teeth pulled, ones I had left back in February. <clears throat> I'm just waiting on, I want my gums to be completely healed. Around the same time my son moved back home. And, uh, right as I was getting ready to throw a baby shower, my husband lost his job. He had been there about 17 years. And my son ended up carrying us through the summer. Helping to carry us anyway. Um, his coming home turned out to be quite the blessing, I guess you could say. Not that I really look at it like that so much as the whole reason that I wanted to buy a little spot and pay it off is so that we'd never be homeless again. None of us. That was the whole purpose. I got a brand new grandbaby, number six this year. Um, I got to know a creature I call the wild thing. Um, you see, he sat out there, or he stood tall, and, and though he was no longer alive, part of him was no longer alive. He stood and we talked every day and I talked to the creatures that lived inside of his shell and his branches and little bits fell from him all year long. And then one day a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine who I've known for about 13 years uh, I met her on social media, um, came to meet me for the first time in person. It was really, um, an experience. Um, while she was here, uh, one night before we came to bed, two owls landed in that tree. And they sounded off a warning song, uh, like a, they're not hoots, they're more like, they were like screeches, but they do hoot, it was, it was the, the bard, which they come to see me quite often, and, uh, after we had went to bed, I heard a crack, and I looked up out the window right here, and part of the wild thing was falling to the ground. And the part that you see right there 
That's the part that made up the wild thing's horns. And I was really upset about it. I was hurt. I felt like I'd lost a friend. But I didn't. The wild thing's still there and we still talk. And the lessons are personal in this. Things that we talk about are personal. But the wild thing is still there. Whoops. <laughs> you can see his eyes or his eyes. Let me see if I can get my finger up there. Right there. This tree used to be right here. This tree. That was his horns. And if you can catch him just at dusk, the way the sun sets behind him just brings his eyes to life. So, it was a great visit I had with a friend, and we went to this beautiful crystal shop in in Tyler not too far from here and I had a very moving um, personal experience with the owner of the shop um, just so happens that divine spirits just kind of led us where we needed to be in a certain moment and when the lady hugged me, she pulled a red and yellow thorn from my shoulder. <clears throat> and then a few days later, my tree fell. With everything going on, I really just feel like I'm in my own world and at peace as long as I don't turn the news on or whatever and right now I'm just eating this up it's a nice outside and it's a nice breeze every if you just feel just feel it all what you see and what you smell and what you hear and what you feel and it just it's magical it just goes right through you it's my most favorite time of year yeah there was a whole lot I wanted to say but I don't think it's meant to be said right now. But I do know this. I'll get my words back when I when I learn the lesson that the wild thing brought me. It's a work in progress. I read some wonderful books this year, which opened some doors inside me. They had little keys all through the pages. I've just kind of been on a little soul journey all year. Summer was really hell. It was absolute hell. Except for the moment when I got my grandbaby. But it was it was hot. The hottest year I've ever had. Ever. And it was hard summer. Financially. 
The whole family's taking hits this summer financially. Emotionally, it's draining. I'm real proud of how we've been able to really, you know, come together and help each other and work together. However, it just seems like, you know, can somebody get a break so that we could actually get ahead instead of just helping each other, you know. At 50, I'd hoped that I'd be somewhere where I'd be a lot more helpful to my kids. And they wouldn't be having to help me. But they do. And they teach me. And they just love me for who I am. I guess somebody else had something to say. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, stay magical, everybody. I don't know what else to talk about, so I just kind of wanted to update and put something up here on YouTube, keep my channel going. I got some dreams and some things I'm planning. For next year. Okay. I love y'all.